laboratory tests play an essential role in diagnosing, monitoring, and managing a wide variety of medical conditions. Each disease needs specific tests for treatment. Below is an organized overview of major conditions and the tests most commonly used for their assessment. 1. Diabetes mellitus. To diagnose and monitor diabetes, blood glucose levels are key indicators. Fasting blood sugar, FBS, assesses glucose after an overnight fast, while postprandial blood sugar, PPBs, measures levels after meals to evaluate how the body handles glucose intake. The HbA1c test is crucial for long-term monitoring because it reflects average blood sugar control over the past three months and helps determine treatment effectiveness. 2. Thyroid disorders, thyroid conditions, whether hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism, are identified using hormonal assays. Thyroid-stimulating hormone, TSH, is the primary screening test. T3 and T4 measurements confirm the type and severity of dysfunction. Additionally, Testing for anti-TPO antibodies helps detect autoimmune thyroid diseases, such as Hashimoto's, thyroiditis, 3. Anemia, a complete blood count CBC, provides information about hemoglobin levels and red blood cell indices, offering clues regarding anemia type. A peripheral smear allows visual assessment of blood cells. Iron tests check anemia, B12, and folate diagnose, 4. Kidney diseases. Kidney function is evaluated primarily through serum creatinine and urea levels. Estimated glomerular filtration rate, EGFR, helps determine the stage of renal impairment. Urine routine and microscopy reveal protein loss or the presence of casts. Ultrasound of the abdomen is often performed to detect structural abnormalities or kidney stones. 5. Liver diseases. Liver function tests, LFT, including bilirubin, SGOT, SGPT, and alkaline phosphatase help assess liver health. Imaging such as ultrasound can reveal fatty liver or cirrhosis. Viral markers, including HBSA, G, and NIHCV, identify hepatitis B and C infections. 6. Heart diseases tests like ECG detect arrhythmias or ischemia. Lipid profile helps assess cardiovascular risk. Troponin levels diagnose acute heart attacks and echocardiography evaluates heart valves and pumping capacity. 7. Infections typhoid is screened through the Weidel test or blood culture. Tuberculosis diagnosis may involve the MAN2 test, chest x-ray, or sputum examination. Malaria is detected using peripheral smear or rapid diagnostic tests. Before you go, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon so you never miss out on our latest videos. See you next time.